It's time for one more roulette example in section 5.2. This time we're going to be using roulette to display the complement rule. So again, we're spinning the American roulette wheel once, and remember that Appendix B has all sorts of bets. Now, the first thing we want to know is what is the probability that the ball does not land in the second dozen? So suppose you place a chip on the second dozen, what's the chances it doesn't land on that? In other words, you'd be losing, correct? So I'm just going to put a, a chip in there for a temporary placeholder. Um, we, we're not actually using chips anymore to display every single problem, but you can get the idea for it. Okay, so we want to know the probability that the ball does not land in the second dozen. And I should say using the complement rule. All right, I added that little phrase in there. Okay, so we need the probability that the ball does not land on the second dozen. So let me type that up. Okay, this is what we are looking for. So what I think we're going to do instead first is we're going to find the probability that it does land on the second dozen. Okay, well that's pretty straightforward. The probability that it lands on the second dozen is 12 out of 38, right? Because there's 12 spaces there out of 38 total. I'll figure out the decimals later if I need to, but 12 out of 38, 12 spots right there in the middle. So not being on the second dozen will be 1 minus the probability of does land on second dozen. Okay, so in other words, we're using the opposites of each other. So either it lands on the second dozen or it does not. So landing on the second dozen does not land on the second dozen. They're opposites of each other. They're complements. So I'm going to use the complement rule. So I'm going to take 1 minus the probability that it does land. That's equal to 1 minus, and what we just found, 12 out of 38. Okay, but remember, with fractions, it's always the same number. Right, 38 out of 38 is 1, minus 12 out of 38. And that gets a t us an answer of 26 out of 38. Okay. Remember that 1 is any number over itself. So I'm going to use the same denominator as what my problem has. So I just want to take 38, take away 12. That gets me 38, take away 12. There we go. It gets me 26. I'm going to divide it by 38. And that gets me 0. 0.6842. And that would be my final result. Just double check that number. Yep, 6842, that was correct. All right, well, we've seen the dozen but before, so the 12 out of 38 shouldn't have been any great shock to anybody. Let's look at the basket bet. Now, the basket bet is kind of a special bet, so let me go back to the appendix. So the basket is a bet on the top portion. So it's either 1, 2, 3, 0, and 0, 0, right? And that's E, this one right here. If you place your chip right there on that corner, it means you're betting on these five numbers right here. If it's European roulette, which is this letter E right here, that chip, that would be those four numbers right there. That's called the basket bet. Okay, so you're going to place a basket bet. So you place a bet on the basket. What is the probability that you lose? Okay, well, losing means it does not land. It's the same type of problem. It's just phrasing it differently. So this one used the word not, right? That's negative. And this one's using lose, still negative. So let's figure out the probability that it does land on the basket. Let's figure that out first. Oh, or another way to say it, if it lands on the basket, is, let me put it this way, you win on the basket. Well, in American Roulette, which is what we're playing, that's 5 out of 38. So there's 5 spots that are winners out of 38 total. It'd be placing your chip right here, right there. right? So that's 5 out of 38. Okay, so then what's the chances you lose? Okay, so to lose on the basket means that you want the complements. You want to take 1 minus the probability that you win on the basket. That's equal to 1 minus 5 out of 38. 
Now remember that this is still 38 out of 38 minus 5 out of 38, right? Because 1 is always a number over itself. And that gets us an answer of 33 out of 38. Just subtracting in my head there. Because 38 take away 5 is 33. And then I would divide that by 38. And I get 0.8684. So you have an 86.4 chance of losing on the basket bet. That means that it probably has a big um, payout, right? Because if it's a rarer thing, then they're going to give you more money. Um, but if you know anything about roulette, you know that the basket bet is actually the sucker bet. Um, do not bet on the basket pretty much ever. <laughs> Only um, suckers bet on it because it actually has a worse payout than the rest of them for gambling purposes. And perhaps we'll see that in chapter six. All right, we are all done with that roulette example. So we noticed that they used different words. The word not conveys negative, conveys complement rule. And losing conveys complement rule, right? Because we figure out the probability of winning all the time. Losing is the complement of that, right? All right, I'll see you back here for more tutorials.